Hi everyone and welcome along to this week's quick fix. Today I'm going to paint you some flowering gorse because it's another flower that I'm seeing really coming into its own on my dog walks seasonally. So um, we've got the filbert brush which is, I've got a size 8 here. This is a brush I sell in my shop if you're interested. Uh, fantastic for, for petals and flowers. And I am going to now just use it on this forked stem with some cadmium yellow to paint the wonderful petals of the flower and gorse. And you can see you get the most amazing amount of control with this brush. Whether you've got it on the side or twist it round like that. I just love it. So I really I'm so pleased that I can show it to you today. So that's done, that was all cadmium yellow. We're gonna let that dry and then we can paint in our stems. For the stems, I've mixed up sap green, green, go sap green, green gold, and a bit of cobalt turquoise. And what I'm going to do is use my rigger brush and I'm going to paint a central stem and then if you can, paint another parallel line that just tapers up slightly. So just move that. So you're going right up into the petals we've painted. Doesn't matter if it catches on each other. And then we'll just finish off the slightly larger stem down there. And then we've got lots and lots of spikes so I find um, we've all probably got a preference when it comes to which brush we want to paint these spikes with I quite like the control of a, of a pointed round so I'm just using the same color here I've got my two tenths brush and I am painting um, little clusters of spikes it's just coming out in different angles and I'm going to do that all the way up and then we're going to change colour. To finish off the piece I've just added some Payne's Grey into my mixture and now I am going to add another layer of spikes um, most of which are going to be new ones. You could always just sort of add a little darkness to your pre-existing ones, but there are just so many prickles on these gorse flowers that really there, there needs to be more. So just try and do them sort of in the gaps. So to finish off, I've got the other, I've got the smaller flathead brush from my Bloom brush set and I've got some yellow ochre mixed up with my cadmium yellow and I'm just going to shove, <laughs> shove, gosh, technical term, a little bit of that colour down the middle. Now if you enjoy these little nature observations, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you aren't already and you'll find loads more like this. And also on my YouTube shorts, I've been really enjoying putting uh, bees into some of my pre-existing flower paintings. So I'm just adding one or two extra little dabs of yellow. And there you have your quick fix. I really hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you again next time.